Hello. Hi everybody. So today we're doing a Q&A. On our first video we asked you to send questions to our Instagram. So we have just taken Some. a certain amount of the questions that we thought so would be good to answer. I'm just gonna get them up. 15 minutes later. Right. <clears throat> have either of you met anyone famous? Yes. Are you not going to elaborate? I don't think the fit. It, does, are they famous? Do they, does Tom uh, Yes. Does it hurt him? No. Tom, okay, no then. But he's, he's very nice, nice by the way. Well, they might be. Yeah, he's in a film. What film? Name I don't remember what it's called. Go look at it. It must be really good. Yeah. <laughs> Seen it. Why? I went for a beer with no fielding from the mighty Boosh. That was really fun. To cut long story short, I have Liam has. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. How long have you been together? Um, officially. Nearly seven months, unofficially, since almost the year. Late November. Yeah. It's alright. September. Uh, yeah, because we were like talking online for a good half a year before we met. Um, so. I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. How did you meet? You can go. No, you can go. You can go. I got Billie <laughs> Eilish tickets and she messaged me and asked where I got them from. You mentioned where I got them from. And yeah, we just sort of took my chances. Book from there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but technically meeting. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we went to a pub and just played at pool. Yeah, we met up at like nine a.m. I was drunk by ten. She just was. my nerves because I couldn't talk to her. I just ugh, I couldn't form a sentence. It was so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> um. Did you fancy each other from the first meeting? Hundred yes. percent. Yes. <laughs> Million percent. Settle. Still do. Um, would you like to be famous? Yes. No. I'd love it. Like, okay. not even like the money side of it, but like more the fact that, for example, I went for a beer with Mel Fielding when I was 15, and um, I still sort of talk about that now like I think that's like really cool so I think being able to have that impact on somebody just by existing is really cool. But then so what like, about like the paparazzi side of it? I would yeah no I mean there's obviously upsides and downsides to everything um but I think meeting someone and being able to make them feel like that just by meeting them and talking to them is like really nice so yeah i'd like to be famous um, if you could change anything that has happened in your relationship what would it be um well if you could change anything that has happened in your relationship what would it be flashback <laughs> Flashback. Probably the time we spent together in the beginning. I wish there was more of it. Yeah. Don't really change anything though, is it? No. Who would be our ideal partner? 
Leah. Lisa. Who said I love you first? <laughs> Come back. Do you want to tell this song since it was you? No. So Leah said I love you first. Um, it was the third day we met. And obviously I know that sounds like, oh my God, that's so soon. But obviously we've been speaking every day, videoing for like, like seven six, months. Six, before, seven months, it? yeah. So um, it was, we got to know each other on more of like a deep level. Um, like we knew everything about each other before we'd even met. So third day we met, um, she kissed me goodbye and said, I love you. And then as I was walking to my car, she screamed, you're the best. It was very sweet. It was very, very cute. <laughs> um, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> What eyebrow product does Lisa use? Anastasia Beverly Hills in Anastasia. chocolate. Yeah, I never know if it's Anastasia or Anastasia because she says Anastasia, but she's American. So is she. Anastasia. Is she around brand? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the dip brow pomade in. Why well, no one asks me what eyebrows to try you? Because you don't wear makeup. I pluck my eyebrows. They could have asked me where Tesco's own tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> A weird habit that the other one does. Weird. Um, I already know what yours will be for me. What? Oh, yeah. Did you think of that? No, I was thinking more of the fact that every animal we drive by, you scream. I'm with, and I'm just like. Yeah. But a weird one she does have is she gets one of these. She gets one of these things and when she's in the bath she like rinses it and then puts loads of, of that light green radox on it and then she sits and inhales it for like an hour and I'm just like... Honestly, right, if there is anything that I could tell somebody to do it would be to go wet a flannel or a sponge and put some green radox on it, green or blue, and just, it's well, so nice. She made me do it one time and bubbles went up my nose and it was not I nice. love it when that happens though, so yeah, that's my weird thing, I think. Um, Leah doesn't really have any weird things. I think something that is like, is she clicks her neck and any body part that could possibly be clicked and even body parts that can't be clicked, she will try and click it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, I'm not um, if you had, if you were in a life or death situation where only one of you could survive, would you save yourself, save the other, or die together? I would save Lisa. I'd save Leah because it wouldn't be worth being here. Oh. Without Leah. So cute. Who is more jealous? <laughs> I'm more vocal about it. Yeah. So I, I will, keep my jealousy to myself. Yeah, I'll sit there and say to her, this has annoyed me or this has done this. And I'll have it out with her, whereas Leah's a bit more quiet and then just one day I'll like butter a piece of bread wrong and she'll have a go with something that happened eight <laughs> months ago. So would you rather have toxic friends or no friends? No friends. No friends. I have three I friends. have three friends. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. I've got AD who I've literally known since I was 13 and I'm obsessed with him. He's like my brother. <laughs> Natalie, again, known her for like six years, never done anything wrong. We've never really argued or anything. And I have like people I speak to, but people who I meet up with and stuff, I'm, um, I'm quite selective over it. So yeah, I'd rather have no friends than toxic friends. Yeah, me too. Do you have any pets? Yes. Yes. Um, so there is the cats, Tyler, Dylan, Molly, Layla, 
stop that. Sorry. Aria and Ali, and then there's a dog, Dodger. And then at Leah's mum's house where we were staying before, there's Domino, the dog. So yeah, we're gonna do like a meet my pets video at some point, I think. <laughs> where do you live? Hull. So the address is. <laughs> But we don't know if we're going to stay here. We've been, we've, we've looked been at, looking at houses outside of Hull, like Liverpool and York, loads like of places. Um, yeah, yeah. So we live in Hull at the moment, but we have been looking elsewhere. What age did you have your first kiss? I was fifteen. How old are you in year seven? You were eleven. Whoa! Oh my god. That's not actually that bad. But yeah. What piercings and tattoos do you both have? Um, <clears throat> nose, septum. Why did I point a mallet? Nose, septum. I've got 18 mil plugs. Got a piercing here, what I did myself. Um, my nipples. I have my septum, <clears throat> the side of my nose, and my nipples. And tattoos. I've got a full sleeve, a rib piece, one on the back of my neck, these. Um, my sister's name, Medusa, and some flowers. I just have the visible ones, and then some on the arms, and that's it. Yeah. One on the back of my neck. <laughs> have you ever been cheated on yes yes by everyone i think i'm pretty certain um uh, everyone no, not you i'm not pointing you pointing <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah i have it's shitty and i think people who cheat should Go to prison. <laughs> oh, I know. Gonna break this person's confidence down and sleep with someone else. There's also kissing and yeah, messages texting. and any no. Have you ever used somebody? No. Um. No. <sighs> to be honest, you liar. Have I? You told me. Who? Oh. Oh, like that. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah, okay then. I'm gonna beat that out. If you could bring someone back from the dead, who would it be? I would say my uncle. Probably. No, I feel like it would be my uncle. Are they in pain if they're alive? No. They're, they come back healthy. Okay what? then. In that case, I'll bring back my dad. I always feel awkward saying that. Oh. That sounds so weird. Um, what actor or character reminds you both of each other, personality-wise or looks-wise? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, so the character that reminds me of you is Violet. From <laughs> The Incredibles. Is that an it? Looks wise. That is so rude. No. I'm not mad really. about it though. No. <clears throat> Personality. Or, no. Maeve from Sex Education. Personality wise. Yeah. yeah. She said that literally we watched it and um, she was like, you're exactly like her. Anyone else? No, it would be those two. I think you look like Violet. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Is yeah. it compliment? Okay, um, for me... Stop making noise! <laughs> Where's this one? Poppy from Trolls. <laughs> you said... Why? She, because she sees something shiny and she's so amazed by it and sings about it and dances about it. And that's exactly what you're like. Really? Yes. Cryptic. 
Who's the first person you fell in love with? I've never loved anyone personally. I've thought that I've loved people when I've been with them. I think with age and all this kind of stuff, like I loved them as much as I was capable of loving them at that point. And, and I've just never been in love until now, to be honest. I needed an older woman. Can anyone guess how many gears are between us? Who do you think's older? That's a, that's the next question. No, it's not. It is. Oh wow. N the one after the one I've just read. Have you ever cheated? No. No. I've never cheated on anybody. I would. Nah, I just couldn't do it. I'd feel horrible doing that to somebody. Um, what's your age cap? 11 years it's actually more like 10 and a half um yeah i'm 19. this one is 30. i am looking as young as 23. if you get on with somebody it doesn't really matter as long as they're of a legal age i dreaded when you asked me how old i was yeah I was like, right, let's just try and push just trying to be very understanding of each other's feelings like yeah we're considerate to one another mm. yeah so it's an 11 year age gap 10 and a half years whatever but yeah our families don't mind my mum loves her yeah <laughs> what are your star signs aries i'm leo born 28th of july 27th of March. Nah, we're good, aren't we? <laughs> but yeah, so that was it. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye. Just with my darling.